So it seems like these days, basically all that anyone wants from a camera is good autofocus. I mean, I don't really know what happened to the days of people actually manually focusing, but seeing as though everyone wants to know how good autofocus is on any camera, I figured I'd do a comparison since I have all three of them at my disposal. Canon dual pixel autofocus versus Sony's autofocus, which is incredibly fast, versus the GH5 autofocus which is not so fast. So for testing purposes on the Canon side of things, we are using a Canon 6D Mark II with a Canon 24 millimeter 1.4 L lens. Fantastic lens, great full frame camera body at f2.2. So this is fairly shallow. So this actually makes it be a little bit more difficult to focus than if it was a little less shallow. On the Sony side, we are using a Sony a6500, which has outstanding autofocus. The new a7 III and the new Sony A9 also have even faster autofocus systems, but you'll see from these examples, the A6500 is outstanding with that. But we are using the A6500 with a Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4, so it's the equivalent of about a 24 millimeter, which is what we're using on the Canon side, so it's a really good indication. And same thing at f2.2 is what we are using. So let's get into it. GH5 autofocus. <laughs> so we'll stop using the GH5 right away because we know that they don't even have good autofocus. That was really just to throw that in the mix so you guys could remind yourself that it's not good. Canon and Sony have very, very good autofocus systems. Now there are two ways though for me to look at autofocus and judge by what I think is a better autofocus system. I come out here for a short window to do this video and we got that banging in the background. So sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with it. When it comes to autofocus, there's speed that is important, but also how smooth it transitions from one point to the next. Now, if you're in a vlogging situation and you're just looking for it to be as fast as possible, then that's one thing. But if you're actually using it in a professional environment where you're looking for it to kind of appear more like a rack focus, then the transitional period between those focuses can be a little bit more important. So let's take a look at Sony versus Canon in how fast they actually transition from one thing to the next and how accurate and consistent it looks together. Here's like little idea if I was vlogging and I'm talking to the camera and I point it to someone that joins me in the conversation and it focuses on them and then it comes back to me and focuses. You want it to be smooth, but you want it to be accurate and you all want it to. The nice thing about some of the Canons, specifically this 6D Mark II, is that it does have a flip out screen and a touch screen. So if I was looking at this and I wanted to transition to Pablo over there, I can just tap it and it will focus to him and I can transition right back to myself obviously with the camera that we have currently, which is the Sony a6500, and all the Sonys that have great autofocus, they don't have that flip out screen, so that is something to consider for vlogging. So here's the a6500 here, I'm just talking to the camera, Pablo joins me, it's hey, hey. definitely gonna grab it fast. Good. We know that it's fast, we know that it's accurate. So which one is better, Sony or Canon? To be honest, I don't think either one of them is better. I think they both are outstanding autofocus systems and it really just depends on more what body you actually wanna get, whether you wanna go with Canon versus Sony. I do think that Canon's is a more natural looking autofocus. You can slow down the Sony system a little bit, but because it is so incredibly accurate and responsive, it can be a little harder to achieve a, a dynamic kind of 
transitioning effect of making it look a little bit more like you rack focused it yourself. But that's not necessarily important for people. Some people looking for autofocus just want to make sure that it stays right on their subject and gets there as quick as possible. So if you're looking for super fast autofocus, I think Sony wins in that department. If you're looking for a more natural autofocus and you just love the Canon brand and the Canon line and the Canon look, then you should go with anything from Canon these days because everything has that dual pixel autofocus. But I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. This was a short, sweet, to the point video. I like to do these every once in a while because, well, to be honest, a lot of people just like getting right to the point. So that's what I wanted to do with this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.